congratulations to you both on the film. Thank, Thank you. you. All that hard work is going to pay off August 10th. Here we go. <laughs> and I love that they paired you guys both together. You guys' relationship in the film and everyone's relationship all together, it's almost like you guys are getting paid to just have fun. Totally. It's exactly like that. <laughs> and so, and so what I would like to know is, what was your guys' best memory on set between the two of you? Between the two of us? Yeah. Ooh, it's our best memory on set. Um, <laughs> there's a we so we were in Canada, which was first of all a very very gorgeous place to shoot anything, yeah, and uh, I, I know you've already been saying this, but it's 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 very true. Like I didn't realize how even when I read the script, I didn't understand how much of this movie was gonna be like in the outdoors, and like we were. Oh we were gosh. in the, the the wild. I was so underwhelmed for the amount of action required for <laughs> the, this film. The bear day was pretty cool. Bear day was very fun. I like bears a lot. Saw a wild bear in the middle and of cubs. shooting. And baby bears. But I gotta say, I think probably my favorite was that it, we were working really long days mm -hmm. on this film and traveling a lot. And sure, like Luke had just said, we were really spending a lot of time like outdoors in the woods with dirt and mud, some makeup, some real. And like it's really hard like when you're getting back to your own like room to just get ready to kind of unwind. And so I think probably my favorite thing was to just like have Luke, have Geraldine, have Daniel, have Eduardo to all kind of just get to like kick back and be friends with and unwind yeah. and like shoot the shit and catch up and like really have some friends at the end of the day to like compensate a long day's work. Did you guys have any like late night campfires? Yeah, I, I, campfire is maybe the wrong word. <laughs> late night, late night something, sure. Yeah, I mean, like, you have to keep in mind, like, we were working very strange hours sometimes. Yeah. And very long days. So you'd get back to these hotels and, like, you know, there's sort of that second wind thing, right? So sometimes uh, you, you just want to go to bed, but a lot of the time you've just spent 14 hours going, like, here we go again, totally. and you're making jokes the whole time. <laughs> And so you just need you need to have a beer and a sit down and a chat. Yeah, yeah. especially when you're working like seven to seven, like seven p.m. to seven a.m. Yeah. You get home and you think you're gonna like crash onto the bed and it's gonna be a great night's sleep. When in reality, normally it takes you a little bit of time to kind of unwind. And so our hotel bar that I was crazy. I think cause I was like <laughs> nine in the morning, like oh, I'm a gin and tonic. That's amazing. <laughs> so you guys' as characters are so epic, and I want to know compared to real life. How epic are you in real life compared to your character? <laughs> On a one I think you're pretty Shane epic. Shane is pretty epic, yeah. That's the safe answer. Um, how, how epic are you in real life? How epic am I in real life? I'd love to hear your answer. Uh, um, I think epic in different ways. <laughs> um, I think... Sarah and I have a lot of differences, but I like to think that we're both pretty adventurous, and I like to see her, like, push her comfort zone and like be down for the action which is something that I like to think I embrace in my life too. Mm. <laughs> like, I've gotten to know I've gotten to know Sadie like obviously during the course of the film and we still see each other uh, you feel in, like that's in real life. Yeah, I think that is. Right. I think like also like Sadie's obviously very fabulous, which is different from her character. <laughs> which is like, oh, it's it's kind of fun though when you're working with someone and like, you know, she's playing basically a, a jock. Yeah. And it's 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 funny to see, you know, when you're an actor, like what other actors are like and then what they play. And you know, she's playing a jock, which is actually yeah. quite the fashionista, if you will. <laughs> um, as for, as for myself, um, I hope I hope there's not too much in common. <laughs> she really hope so. Yeah. No, I liked him. Obviously, I spent a month being him, but uh, I'd like to think. In my own way, I'm a different kind of epic. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you, it's so interesting. So you just said you spent a month being him. And I feel like anything you do habitually, you eventually become. So do you sure. feel like you picked up certain characteristics? Like, do you feel like you're going to go camping now? Um, well, I liked to go camping before, and I still like to go camping now. I don't like to go camping. Um, <laughs> but I do feel like there's some, I notice a little bit of caution when you said that, just because I think like as an actor, it's a huge privilege and like really exciting to get to play these people that otherwise I wouldn't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that are nothing like me. And like that's the joy of being an actor. And I think you have to be really mindful so that when you come home, you can leave the work at work. Yeah. Mm. Um, because I think otherwise it creates a really dangerous setting for life when like you're looking at yourself in the mirror and like all of a sudden have become a person that you don't recognize. <laughs> so I would really hope that I've gotten to leave a lot of her with her. 
Um, I don't know. What do you think, Luke? I mean, it's a much deeper question than uh, I think the package uh, I was expecting. Yeah. Like, put it this way. I agree I agree with Sadie. Like, you have to, you know, you know, leave the work at work. I think, for me, an, an example might be this, though. Uh, so, for the character, uh, the way he dresses is not the way I dress. And he also is growing a mustache, which, as an ode to Donnie, I'm doing, <laughs> attempting to do right now. Um, and, to put it frankly, I think Donnie looked like, like an idiot. And because Donnie looked like an idiot, Luke Spencer Roberts looked like an idiot. And I definitely noticed all over Vancouver, people were like, what's the deal with the... Uh... <laughs> and I was like, it's... I am aware that it looks stupid. It's, it's... And on top of that, it does actually start to fill out, believe it or not, when I grow one. So they were re fixing it by making it look stupid every day in the hair and makeup trailer. And so I just spent a month in Vancouver looking like a ridiculous moron. Um, which I think helped separate me from Donnie because I started to quietly be like, Donnie looks stupid, you don't look stupid. You're like, am I Donnie? Luke, Luke looks great. Luke looks great. Donnie looks stupid. That's yeah. so funny. And so, okay, so it's real life. It is spring break 2019. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can take any five people. It cannot be any of your co-stars. It could be someone dead, alive, someone famous, not famous, Ooh, oh. on the most epic spring break trip. The most epic Who are you break taking trip. and where are you going? I'm gonna need some real thought for this. Uh, um, five people. Just gonna throw some names out there. All right. Remember, your mom's watching. Yeah, my mom, uh, my <laughs> grandma, my daughter. No. Um, I well, take? I've really been dying to go to Thailand, so I'm gonna pick that destination because it's next on Are my you list. Destinations too. I yeah. Need to start. So I'm gonna go to Thailand, and who do I want to bring? Oprah. Duh. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. Want to bring Oprah. Want to bring... I'll take... My Angelou. Want to bring... I'm having like a luxe time I'll take like... Spring yeah, I'll take Vonnegut, the writer. With like some self-love, sure. some like amazing powerhouse <laughs> women. Like, like. It's the most inspirational trip she's ever been on. It's I'm taking a very different turn from the package. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take, yeah, I'll take... Uh, why would you take Kurt? Kurt Vonnegut's my favorite writer. So why would you take him? I feel like a good conversation. On the billionaire side, I'd take <laughs> Elon Musk. To, to oh, match your Oprah, I'll take Musk. That's a good one. That's a good um, one. I'll take Musk, too. So basically, you're teleporting your trip. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, like, in this, like we get picked up by automated cars. You don't have to explain to my Uber driver when I'm so drunk. Totally. Uh, what else is there? Uh, three more? That would probably just be my friends. I'm Sadie Calvano. Hi, my name is Luke Spencer Roberts. We're on the package, and it's coming to Netflix August 10th. Watch it. <laughs> I just realized I was looking at the camera like a school shooter. I was just like... <laughs> <laughs> you're all you're missing is a It doesn't matter. Awesome. You're all going to die. Cool.